Let's take a look at matrix determinants on a HP Prime graphing calculator. And let's take a look at our first one here. And our only one. After you see one, you kind of have it. Uh, so we've got 3, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, by the fact it has the vertical bars there and it's a matrix, that tells us determinant. It didn't need to tell us to actually find it. Well, let's put this um, into our calculator. If you're not under the apps menu, you can press your apps, be in the same place as me, and do enter on function. And then we'll press home. And we're going to go into our matrix menu, shift 4. I'm going to up arrow to uh, M1, and um, I'm going to press delete to clean it out, and click OK. And now I'm going to do an edit on M1. And then we've got 3 enter, 1 enter. I'll do an up arrow and then right arrow over to the third column and put a 2 in. And press enter. And then we'll do 4 enter, 5 enter, 6 enter, 7 enter, 8 enter, 9 enter. So 269, 158, 347. I want to exit out, so I'll press my home. Now I want to push my toolbox here. And you should be in your math menu here. If you're not, then click the math. And we'll do 7, uh, the numbers in front of a matrix. And then you see determinant is our second one. There's a 2 in front of it. So I'll press 2. Now we need to tell determinant of what. So we'll put in M1, alpha, and our plus negative, and then 1, and then press enter. And um, we see a determinant is negative 9, and a bunch of zeros and a 1. Sometimes if you press the fraction button, it'll uh, get rid of the rounding issues that occur, uh, the numerical calculation problems, and it did in this case. So it's actually equal to negative 9. Uh, earlier I pushed this uh, the fraction button and it didn't get rid of it. Uh, but this time it did. So that's your answer, negative 9.